Hi, this is Lisa Michelle. Welcome to my channel. Uh, in this video, this is actually the first of a three-part series showing you how you can actually uh, create and make money selling templates on Etsy. So the very first um, video will just be me showing you how I would choose a template to sell and then actually creating that template. So I'm here in Etsy and what I'm going to use to actually help me out with this is Everbee. All right, it's, there's a Chrome extension. Um, there's a free version of it. I'm not sure how much you can do with the free version, but there is one if you want to just check it out and see if that will help you out. Um, so the first thing I would do is type in Etsy, like what I plan on making just generally. All right, so I already know what kind of template I'm going to make, but I can put in templates. Um, and then you can see it's so populating giving me an estimate of how many monthly searches there are for that particular keyword. So you can do templates Canva. Uh, I already know I'm going to do a wedding invitation or some type of invitation. So I want to click on this. There are 932 searches, monthly searches for templates Canva wedding. But if you didn't want to do a wedding invitation, you can just do templates um, or invitation. The way you would think a customer would type it in. That's, how, that's what you would put in the search bar. So if you think people would search for invitation templates, you would do that. So just click on it. And then just to get an idea of, um, you know, how many results come up and what is actually selling the best. So I'm not taking any of these ideas. I just want to see what type of invitation is actually selling best on here. So you've got this one. Um, it's the first birthday invitation. This one's another one turning one. Uh, Halloween. Yeah, I wouldn't want to do a Halloween invitation right now, I don't think. Uh, what is this for? Okay, so birthday, pretty much birthday invitations and fall themed holiday invitations so far. Yeah, this is a Christmas invitation, Christmas party, I guess, invitation. And yeah, it's a Halloween party. So, all right, so I'm, I think I'm going to maybe just stick with either a birthday or a wedding invitation. But if I wasn't sure, what I could do here is go over to product analytics. And what this will do is let me know what products are selling or, or how much each product is selling with that keyword in Etsy. So I can just slide this down. And I can just search or filter by um, or sort it by the number of sales every month because the revenue is not that important to me. I just want to know how many sales there are because the prices will be different, all of that. So I'm not worried about the revenue. But I do want to see maybe the listing age, you know, how long has that listing been out there? How old is the shop? Um, how many views are getting, reviews, all that kind of matters. So this one is a digital birthday dinner invitation. I don't want to do that. This is a wedding, a wildflower wedding invitation template. This one's selling about 113 um, a month. And it's a printable. So these are all, these are all digital, right? Um, well, digital meaning that, you know, you're not going to get a paper invitation in the mail. So they all seem to be doing well, right? So like I said, I think I'm going to do a, wedding invitation but before I leave ever be I just want to just give you more on what it does so when you click on this actual product name here it gives you more details on this side um, a lot of the same details that you get over here but it also gives you the tags that that listing is actually using so if you are putting up listings in Etsy and you have no idea what you should be using as tags um, this can be helpful to at least start with the ones that they're using and then you can kind of monitor to see if your product is selling, whether those tags are working or not. And then you can adjust it that way. But um, that's a good way to just kind of get an idea of what tags to use. All right, so I know that I'm doing an, um, an invitation. So I'm going to go ahead in Canva and create a um, five by seven um, invitation. And what I'm going to do is, let me just make this a little bit bigger, is search to see, you know, what's out there 
in terms of invitation templates for myself just to get started. But you cannot just sell these as is, as templates. You can just use it to kind of help you get started. And these are all really nice. So you can easily take one of these and then just change the font, change the, the color, change the flowers, and you have a totally different um, product. So let me see. I think I'm going to kind of imitate. Okay. Also, another thing. When you're selling templates, what you want to do is actually go up here to these the little gears. And you want to just use the elements that are free so that your customers can use a um, free, oops, sorry. So they can use a free template. All right. I don't know. It's not letting me, it's not letting me choose the free one. So I'll just avoid the ones that have the little pro um, symbol there because otherwise your customers will get it and they may not be able to actually access the elements. So this one is free. And if you're not sure, you can always click on that and it'll usually either say free or it'll say pro or paid. All right. So I'm going to use this one. And the first thing I'm going to do is actually delete, delete the flowers. So I'm going to change the whole thing up. But it's a good way to get started. So I don't have to type, you know, all that in. So that's a big help. Start with a template. Okay. All right, so I'll just leave the background like that. All right, so the first thing I want to do is, I think just add this box here. And I think I'll just maybe speed it up a little bit here um, and then play some music. And then I will be right back once I have the card looking the way I want it to look.
um, I pretty much got it the way that I wanted it. But sometimes you do have to just add in, you know, flower by flower, just one at a time. Um, once I put the flowers in, I thought about it and I wish I had used more of a purple shade. But, um, you know, if you are going to be selling templates, you know, just know that your customers will be able to actually edit all of this. So we did free elements. So if they want to keep it the way it is, they can. Or they can just type in different flowers, different elements, the same way that I did. And they'll be able to change this and then reprint it, you know, over and over again. Okay. Um, what you could also do is you could sell it as maybe a bundle where you're selling more than one template. So if you kind of like the general overall feel of this, you could just duplicate it, right? And then you could just remove all of the flowers that you put in and then do something a little bit more seasonal. So let's say I just kind of like the way this template looks, but I wanted to make it more for um, maybe like a, a Friendsgiving party or something like that. You could just go in or they could just go in and type in, um, well, not necessarily for Thanksgiving, but fall colored flowers or just fall colored elements in general and then see what comes up. And you could do pumpkins, you could do the whole, you know, latte, pumpkin spice thing and make sure you filter it out so you only get in the free elements though so, um you see there are fewer but you can just put leaves different you could put in you know orange or brown colored leaves or flowers and you could just have more than one you know one template and you can do one that's totally um just based on a fall theme and you can give your customers more than just that one invitation or you can just do these at different listings you can have one listing for a fall themed um you know event and you can do another listing for the wedding invitation, but you can always start with the Canva templates just like I did. So you don't have to at least type all this in and then change the rest. I didn't have to keep this frame in here. I could have deleted it, but maybe if it's listed, the person that's purchasing it, purchasing it, they can delete the frame and do what they want to do with it. So if selling templates is something that you would like to learn how to do, I am offering a free challenge that starts on October 1st. I'll leave a link to the challenge below. It's five days. It is just, you know, daily step-by-step -step instructions on how to do everything that you would need to know or learn everything you need to know to sell the templates on Etsy. So I'll leave that link in the uh, description. And like I said, this is the first video of a three-part series. So I will be posting the second video where I'll show you how to actually deliver this to your customers and list it on Etsy. And then the final video will be me showing you how you can actually uh, stand out with your listing on Etsy so people actually see your templates to buy them. All right, so go ahead and if you like the video or, got, or learned anything, please go ahead and like the video and subscribe if you want to go ahead and join or follow along with the rest of this template series. All right, so that's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace.